Damn, son, where'd you find this? So, apparently, Marvel just made a huge change. Interesting. Uh, apparently, Constant wanted to just drop um, the video. So, uh, we'll back go ahead and jump in and see what's the update about it. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe and go subscribe to Cosmic Wonder. So, um, let's get to it. Marvel Studios did something incredibly huge today. A lot of people are overlooking the fact that today, the MCU just took a step at becoming bigger than it's ever been before. Yes, Marvel Studios and the MCU have had some problems, but just think about everything the MCU has in store for us that we already know. Deadpool 3 will be insane, we already know Avengers Secret Wars is going to be epic, and then, of course, the X-Men and the Fantastic Four are coming to the MCU. And Marvel Studios today took a big step in the right direction direction for the MCU. Yes, it is the release of the Echo series, and yes, it is actually a historic day for Marvel Studios, as they have officially released their first Marvel Studios Spotlight Banner project, but I'm not talking about either of these, really. What we're talking about today is the official launch of the division of sections of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The story of the street-level Avengers team begins today, with more different and separate Avengers teams coming. Kevin Feige has teased this for such a long time and it's finally happening and it's a lot bigger than most people realize and although we are still in the multiverse saga at this point and this news does affect the multiverse saga the next saga has the potential to be the best saga yet and the biggest saga yet. Combining so many different teams like the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, the Inhumans if Marvel ever really decides to bring them yeah, into the humans. MCU, and multiple different Avengers teams that are really different from each other, that will consist of different Avengers characters. So let me explain how the MCU today just got bigger than it's ever been before. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all things relating to the MCU. And if you subscribe and leave a comment down below, you are automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. The winner gets to pick one item, and we pick one winner at the end of each month. So yes, in the MCU, we have had movies and now shows that are in different parts of the Marvel Galaxy, but now we're going to get one-off Avengers films. The Street Avengers, the Cosmic Avengers, the West Coast Avengers, and make no mistake, like I said, they will be divided teams. Not divided as in against each other, although there is rumors that Marvel Studios could potentially be developing a Civil War 2 movie right now, and of course I'm mm. sure we'll get an Avengers vs X-Men film eventually, at least we hope we do, but no, these separate Avengers teams will all be kind of working together, they'll just have different teams doing different things in different parts of the MCU. And the cool okay. thing is, they're each going to have their own big bad, in fact Marvel Studios has already officially announced one big bad for one of the Avengers teams. He's already kind of debuted in the MCU and he officially comes back to the MCU today. We are talking about Kingpin. In fact, Marvel Studios mm. went as far to say as he is pretty much the Thanos of the street level corner of the MCU. This is what Marvel Studios executive and head of development for Disney Plus for Marvel, Brad Winderbaum, was asked in an interview with Screen Rant. He was asked if Kingpin is the Thanos of the street level corner of the MCU in which he replied, oh man, you kind of hit the nail on the head. I can't say too much, only that as a chapter in Wilson Fisk's life, this is a crucial one and sets the stage in some remarkable ways for what's coming next. And this really does have so many different amazing implications to it. This means we are essentially kind of going to have Avengers films inside of Avengers films. It's kind of going to be like Avengers Inception. And ultimately the goal for Marvel Studios is to have everything come together in the end in a grand Avengers film. But let's dial it back and scale it down for a second. There will be many different corners of the MCU. We've talked about these different sides a lot. We have the street level Avengers team. We have the cosmic Avengers team. We have the supernatural side. And hopefully during the saga we get kind of a multiversal side. What's really interesting is that moving forward, each of these different sections of the Marvel Cinematic Universe will have their own 
villains. And let me be very clear, this is very different than what Marvel Studios has done before. Before, with the past three phases, each movie had their own individual villain. Captain America had Red Skull, the Winter Soldier, Hydra, Iron Man had Iron Monger, Whiplash, Hulk had Abomination, and Thor is kind of the exception because Loki shows up again as the main villain of the Avengers film. However, that's just phase one, and ultimately Thanos doesn't really appear as the villain in any movie, really. Yes, he appears in Guardians of the Galaxy, but Ronan is the main villain of that film. And no villain is really dealt with by more than one person or one group of people. For example, Hela. Nobody really dealt with Hela besides Thor, the Hulk, Valkyrie, and Loki. Really, every single villain for every movie was secluded and kept to one movie. Now that's all about to change. With the separate corners of the Marvel Cinematic Universe each having their own villains, their own big bads, the MCU is about to become a lot more connected. Because now, these villains of these sections of the MCU are going to appear in more than one film, in more than one project, because they'll be both in movies and in Disney Plus shows. And Kingpin really is the perfect example. We've already seen him in two different projects. And not to mention Daredevil as well. Kingpin was introduced in Hawkeye. He is now the villain of Echo. He'll also go on to still be one of the main villains of the Daredevil series, and then he will go on to be a Spider-Man villain. We've never mm. really seen this before. The only person we've really seen this with is Loki, but he himself is now his own main character and isn't exactly a villain anymore. In fact, he's kind of the savior of the multiverse right now. So Marvel Studios hasn't done this, and it's a great way to really connect everything, even more so than it's ever been. And like I mentioned, this also sets it up for heroes to be more connected it as well. Daredevil has now been in She-Hulk. He is in the Echo series releasing today, and of course he has his own series showing up, and not to mention he was also in Spider-Man No Way Home. You can see how the interconnectivity is actually becoming more than it's ever been, despite really not feeling it that much throughout Phase 4 and Phase 5. But imagine really seeing a bunch of these awesome heroes interact with each other throughout multiple different projects, movies, and shows, and not just for the sake of of having cameos, but for the actual sake of the story. You see, Kingpin is really going to tie a lot of different characters together. Not only is he appearing in multiple different projects, but he's also going to become the mayor of New York City. And from what Ew. we've heard about what's going to happen in Daredevil, he's going to make a law that makes it illegal to be a vigilante. So a lot of heroes have a pretty big reason to come together to defeat Kingpin. Story-wise, it's fantastic. It essentially is an Avengers film, which is it is indeed going to be. This is going to be an Avengers film when they come together. However, it won't consist of everything and everyone that is happening in all of these different parts of the MCU. This is the team that is going to be dealing with Kingpin in New York. Then we're probably going to have a team on the West Coast. And since there's a West Coast Avengers team in the comics, we're assuming we'll probably get that in the MCU as well. After all, it does make sense to have two different teams on two different sides of the country of the United States of America. And I wouldn't be surprised if an Avengers team gets placed elsewhere somewhere in the world or multiple teams placed throughout the world. And it's also important to note that some of these teams might not be official Avengers teams. Like like the Midnight Suns. The supernatural slash monster side of the MCU is going to be huge. At least that's what we're all hoping for. With mm. characters like Moon Knight, Blade, Deadpool, Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, The Black Knight, Jack Russell, Elsa Bloodstone, and more. The potential is insanely big, and it's said that the big bad for that side of the MCU, the supernatural side, could be Mephisto himself, appearing in multiple different projects because he mm. is going to be intertwined in all of these character story until they all eventually come together to defeat him. We know that he's probably going to be in the Ironheart series. That is yep. according to Deadline. They reported that Sasha Baron Cohen is indeed in the project and is believed to be playing Mephisto based off of their sources. Then insiders have come out and stated that his character should be appearing in other projects as well. So we could be looking at the big bad of the supernatural side and he should bring these characters together, not just in one big team up film, but throughout multiple different projects leading up to that film. So you can see how the MCU could start to become bigger than it's ever been before and more connected than it's ever been before. And these are just two sides of the MCU. We know we're also going to have the story of the X-Men and the story of the Fantastic Four. The X-Men are going to be really intertwined as well, having individual character stories and team stories. Then there's the cosmic side, and there's a lot of story to tell there. With the Celestials and cosmic entities, we have only been briefly introduced to these oh, huge no. characters, and they play no huge can't. roles in Marvel Together. comics, so you know they're going to dive further into these as well. And the best part is, even 
even though they're going to be separate corners of the MCU, separate Avengers teams. Ultimately, at the end, there will be a huge Avengers Endgame, Avengers Secret Wars-like project that'll bring them all together. And that film has the potential to really and truly be one of the biggest films of all time, if not the biggest Max. film that Marvel Studios could ever produce. So today truly is an epic day. So go ahead and let us know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest. All right, so if they're going to like do that, all that situation he said, um, the information, um, then I think they should. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying that, but I think they should, but, um, like, they gotta do it, they gotta do it right, they gotta do it right, you know, um, but, um, like, the only team they need to bring into the MCU is the, the Inhumans. Cause um uh, they cause I cause I know I I watched um uh, first time watching uh, Inhumans you know a while back when they you know released released it um on I say ABC I think so uh and then like that's why I like rewatch it on Disney Disney Plus um so um but yeah like I think they should bring Inhumans and bring everybody. You know, like since we get in Avengers films, like why not bring the OG um Marvel? Like, you know, of course, Elektra, uh, with Jennifer Gardner, Ben Affleck, Daredevil, um, The Punisher, um, Thomas Jane, um, Ghost Rider, N Nicolas Cage. And um, of course, Blade Wesley Snipes. You know, you, you guys know they they probably not gonna like bring bring Wesley Snipes though. But I wish they would. But um, who else? You know, the old uh, 2003 Hulk. Um, uh, with, with Air Banner. Um. Or or the 2008 Hulk. Edward Norton. I gotta say. I gotta say though, 2008. 2008 Hulk is the best Hulk ever. So I, I don't care if nobody says it though. So, um, <laughs> but uh, I think I, I think they should bring bring the 08 Hulk. So that's my choice. Instead of, yeah, I think I you know you know what? Let me phrase that. I think they should bring both 2003 and 2008 Hulk to the you know to the MCU for I guess for the big Avengers film. So. That's my my theory, my 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 teen time theory, you know. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Man, OG. Cause I know I know the X Men, the OGs, um, which they should they should bring. Um, but yeah, man, like 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 if it if it's gonna make it's gonna happen and then you know gonna change so. We'll see. We shall see. I don't got nothing else, got nothing else to say. So, uh, in any case, that's it for the video for you guys. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. I'll see you guys in the next video. Gotta be safe out there. God bless you all. See you guys later.